Well, I'm Hud McWilliams, and I have three grown married children and four grandkids, two of which are actually third culture kids themselves. I think, you know, advice is cheap. It's like opinions. Everybody has it. So what comes to mind, I think, is most salient is not the place the child is going, but the place they're being launched from. So I would say if there's safety in, in the home of the child, if there's a place where the child can process openly their feelings and emotions, and if there's an environment where they can talk uh, freely and, and are uh, engaged in uh, processing whatever has gone on in their new environment, whatever it is, school or language or whatever they're struggling with, and that that can be uh, uh, treated as normal. In other words, this is, yeah, it's not, it's part of life, you know, just like trauma is part of life or like death is part of life. You want a child, third culture kids just happen to run into that stuff more frequently with more intensity than most other children. So it seems like to me the best place to have the, the greatest strength and the most health and the most resilience and hardiness and robustness should be in the launching pad, not the not worrying so much about where they go, it's more worrying about where they come back to and how they can unpack what they've experienced, whatever it is they experience.